Hi everyone, this is Bobby from BN-Games.com and we're here doing another classic capture. We're here doing Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Genesis. We're here playing Super Mario Bros. 3. <laughs> oh, wait, Sonic! Uh, this, actually, we're playing this on the Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection because it's easiest to um, record, uh, easier to record that way. Um, so this is a emulated uh, version uh, on the PlayStation 3. Um, I'll have to be honest with you, um, Pretty bad as far as emulation is concerned. Um, I, I'm not sure why, but there's some strange behavior here and there. Uh, but other than that, pretty faithful. I mean, it's it's the same ROM that was on uh, the original Genesis carts. Is just uh, the software that's running it is uh, a little wonky. Uh, Sonic 2 was really the really the driver for Sega. I mean, Sonic 1 was popular, but Sonic 2 really made the uh, made Sonic himself uh, mainstream besides the cartoons, and uh, it's probably the one that most people will remember the most uh, most fondly uh, next to Sonic 3 eventually and those sorts of things. Um, and uh, right now Marco and I are playing, Marco's playing as Tails, and uh, I'm playing as Sonic, um, and we'll play through the you know, intro level here, and then uh, we'll show you some of the multiplayer, which was an addition. Um, Sonic, uh, Sonic 2 had multiplayer competitive, uh, which was uh, brand new at the time. I, I think we did pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so Emer Emerald Hill Zone was very reminiscent of the first uh, zone in the first Sonic, and I, I think every well, all three uh, Genesis Sonics um, they all had um, had a like foresty level. I mean Sonic Three, Sonic uh, Two, One, and even uh, Sonic and Knuckles, which wasn't numbered. Uh, that one started off um, in a, a jungle-esque area. Um, so, I mean, Sonic. If you've never played Sonic, uh, the Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection is probably the best way for you to experience it. Uh, you can pick up that disc for $15 uh, new, even, if you look for it. Maybe even less now. Uh, it comes with 1, 2, th and 3. Uh, no, it also comes with Knuckles, although Knuckles won't do the edition. And uh, with the end of every zone, you uh, fight Robotnik, which is usually really easy. You just, just jump on him. I think there's much more else to say. This is uh, he's got some crazy like grill thingy here. Pretty sure it's a Megazord. <laughs> it, it it makes sense that driving towards the animal that can jump over it. I, that's that's ingenious design by Robotnik's part. And, uh, traditionally, after you defeat Robotnik, you let free all the critters of the forest or whatever level you're in. Um, I am humping the <laughs> floor. <laughs> as, as a sign of success. Get over here. <laughs> and, uh, we'll restart it here. This is, uh, the multiplayer. Um, this is really hard to play, uh, back in the day because, well, especially on 4x3 TVs, it splits the screen in half and stretches it, as you can see here, and that's really awkward. I'm pretty sure it's running in 16 by 9. Well, that, yeah, kind of. And this is probably one of the most iconic levels. Uh, this this level's been redesigned multiple times in later games, uh, most notably, I think, Sonic Adventure 1 um, took the heaviest inspiration from this. It's also one of the most annoying for being crushed if, if you're not careful. And uh, yeah, basically it's uh, to compete to get as many coin, uh, coins, the uh, rings. Uh, but the the it's really a race. Whoever can get to the end fastest. And um, later games kind of tried to do this, um, but not as well. Also, the frame rate takes a dip big time here. It's slowing down because I lost all my coins and. It's, it just doesn't know what to do with itself. It wasn't designed to handle that many objects on screen at once. This is making me want to gamble. Is that normal? Yeah, well, it, it, it's like a... It's, they couldn't do pachinko, so... <laughs> like, yeah, we should do this, and then Marco... Ah, it's like Sonic has a tail! Uh, <laughs> I think you still let them catch you up, don't you? I think so. Ah, uh, there goes the frame rate again. No. 
And that's accurate, uh, even though this is emulated, that's accurate, because it did the same thing in, in the uh, original Genesis cart, which I should mention I have. But like I said, it's easier to get it here. You get that pretty border here. Yeah! Well, this was a uh, classic capture for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, pick it up. Uh, it's a good game. <laughs> Thanks.